since we're talking about React, I'll start recording. Um, but yeah, unit two was all about um, taking data from a database and passing it directly to a view via render uh, or redirecting to another view once you've manipulated that data. And the shift that you're going to see in this unit is from one system managing the data and the views to our backend, which is going to be the same backend that you've been using. It's going to be essentially MenStack, where you have a request coming in and Express Server handles that request by running in a node runtime environment using Mongoose to connect to MongoDB. That's your men, right? And what's going to happen is instead of the request coming from uh, an EJS view, the request is going to come from a React component. And a React component is going to use something called a service module. It's just a way to isolate code into smaller manageable chunks. But the React component is going to send the, the request. So it will cross from the front end, which is a server. You have two servers running. This is when crazy mind-blowing shit starts happening. You're going to have two servers running. So you're going to have a server running your front end and a server running your back end. And the server that runs your front end, whenever the UI interacts with a page or you know, loads a page, clicks a button, does something, that will trigger a request. And that request bridges the front end into the back end because we're making a request to the back end server we wrote. And instead of saying, okay, go, you know, this route means to fire this controller or send this data back in a view, we're just saying, no, 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 simple, simple, just send the data back, JSON object, that's it. That little bonus, was it a bonus lecture you did on Taco Cats with sending data back, or was that a required lecture? I'm pretty sure that was a bonus. Wake up. Um, that was a bonus. Okay. Um, you should really go back and watch that tonight if you didn't go to that lecture, because that's literally all you're going to be doing in this unit on the back end is setting up routes, controllers, um, and returning JSON data in your back end servers. So the back end is going to feel a little bit simpler because there's no views, there's no redirects. It's just, hey, res.json data. Um, and auth is a little bit easier. Um, there's a little bit more going on with auth, but it's not nearly as convoluted as all the Google craziness that you had to deal with. Um, so really, I, I, well, I guess what I'm getting at here is if you had any shaky feelings about the back end stuff with unit two, then you should probably kind of rebuff your knowledge on that. And just if you want to get some extra practice in, just reach out to one of us and let us know. Like, I would gladly sit in a room with you for half an hour or whatever and just like build a tiny crud app and just make sure you feel like you know what you're doing. Um, use Postman to test it. Um, if you haven't played with Postman yet, you really need to get comfortable with Postman because you're going to be using it all the time. Um, but, uh, you know, the, keep your skills up with that stuff over the next few days, because if you stop and forget how Node works, you're going to be in a bad place next week. So, again, simple CRUD apps. You can build a... With, with, like 20 minutes, I think you can build a speed grud app. So realistically, you can do it in about an hour, like tops, just to make a single application that has no fancy views and um and go from there. So just practice with it. Also, um style your buttons next time, please, on your projects. There are so many plain buttons, plain, sad, lonely buttons with no styling. Don't do that. Buttons, they, they yearn to be styled. So many sad buttons. That's all I'll say about your projects. Your projects were actually really good. There were just a lot of really sad buttons in them. So happy your buttons up. Cool. Uh, code reviews, by the way, I have those all on my machine. You'll be getting those back at some point today. I didn't want to send them out first thing in the morning because I wanted you paying attention to lecture and not to your code review. Uh, every single one of you passed. So um, I don't think we had any people that need to do any re redos or anything like that. One, I think we have one person with like a slight minor change that needs to be made, but it's not anything huge. So kick-ass job. That's some, some literally some of the best unit two projects we've seen, minus the buttons. So give yourself a round of applause. 
and isn't too happy about the buttons. I, it's not that I'm not happy about the buttons. It's like you you made these beautiful websites that like have all this awesome styling, and your buttons are just like sad. Impressive. It's just like breathe some life into your buttons. Your apps will li- look like eight thousand percent better. So David was also giving me hard hard time about being concerned about UX stuff with your apps because he's like Ben, who are you? What did they do with Real Ben on vacation? Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, you're good. Your apps are fantastic. So cool. Well, are you ready to talk a little bit about React? Finally get the ball rolling with that. Cool. Um, David, by the way, is on vacation this week. So if you have anything that you're going to DM him concerned about anything, just shoot me a message. Let me know, or one of the instru- other instructors, if you think I'm too mean, um, but yeah, let us let us know if you have problems or issues with anything because David is out. So, um, cool. Let me get my notifications set up, and then we'll get this party started.